Welcome to the scanning video tutorial created to show you procedures and tips to perform image acquisition within Tunes Harlequin. Hand-drawn images must be defined first in the Tunes X sheet and then acquired. Animation levels made up of sequences of drawings considered as a whole can be scanned as well as other elements of the scene such as background and overlays. Now start defining the B level to scan. Select the first cell of the first column of the X sheet, then right click and choose new level, or click inside the file menu and choose new level, from here. Set B as name and set 35 frames in the text fields, and set scan level as type, as the level being defined here is to be scanned. Then, Click on the create button and, as you can see, an animation level, made of 35 frames, is created in the X sheet. Now, is time to create the, the BCL level. Select the first cell in the second column. Right click and choose new level in the dialog. Set BCL as name the same settings in the fields from 2 and choose scan level as done before for the previous level and choose create another level made of 35 frames has been created in our X sheet tune supports directly some specific scanners via USB connection by using tunes internal drivers all the other scanners are supported via any type of connection by using Twain drivers. On Windows, in any case, you need to install the Twain drivers provided with the scanner. Note that if you decide to use internal drivers, you have to disable the Windows Image Acquisition WIA, service on your computer. On Macintosh, you need to install the Twain drivers only if you are going to use them. Note that if you decide to use internal drivers, any Twain driver referring to that scanner has to be removed. Images can be saved as compressed TIFF or PNG files. You can perform this choice going inside the preferences and choosing the drawing tab. Inside the pull down menu, you can perform the choice between TIFF and PNG. Choose scan and clean up. Click on define scanner, choose internal and click the OK button to confirm. Now, start looking at how to scan an animation level by using a directly supported scanner. We go inside scan and clean up, define scanner and choose internal. Now choose scan and clean up and scan settings. Here, set A4 paper format. Activate the paper feeder option in case you have a paper feeder in our case we have one, so I will activate it. Set the DPI as 250. The mode as grade owns. And the brightness have to be set on 128. When your selections are made, you can close the scan settings dialog. And place the first drawing of the B level on the scanner flatbed, or, like in this case, in the paper feeder and choose the first frame of the B level in the X sheet. Now, we need to put back the first drawing in the feeder and click again on the first frame of the B level and choose scan and clean up and scan. Now, as you can see, the first frame is acquired. If the scan image is okay, place the second drawing on the scanner flatbed, or, like in our case, all the remaining drawings on the scanner paper feeder, select all the other frames in the column, and choose scan and clean up, scan, to perform acquiring. For the color linear sequences, we have to follow the same procedure except for the mode, that have to be set to RGB. Mm -hmm. 
something goes wrong, and you want to acquire again some drawings, you have just to place the drawing on the flatbed or in the paper feeder, select the cells where the drawing replacing is needed, and choose again scan and clean up and scan, and confirm in the dialog that appears clicking on the scan button. To show the procedure about the scanning, via Wayne drivers, we can replace the first three drawings, previously acquired for the B sequence. Choose Scan and Clean Up. Define Scanner and, this time, select Wayne. Confirm your choice, and select your scanner driver, among the sources available. So click on first frame on your B sequence, go again in Scan and Clean Up, and click on Scan. Confirm to overwrite the previously acquired drawings. And now the Twain drivers appear, so here we have to set the image settings. Type as grayscale, document source as paper feeder, and then the size have to stay on A4. The orientation is correct, and then I have to change the DPI to 250. Now, I can perform a preview, just to check my settings. Here, I can check the quality of the preview and, if I want to change something on my parameters, I can perform another preview. In this case, I have to place again the paper inside the paper feeder, and click on scan. Now the drawing is replaced, and I can proceed acquiring the drawings 2 and 3, placing the two papers inside the feeder, and proceeding acquiring again, using the scan and clean up, scan command. So, now we don't want to change any parameter, and we have only to click on scan. After the drawings are acquired, we can save the scene, going inside file, and choosing save scene as. In the browser that opens, select the My Scenes folder of the current project, in this case Scenes, and then assign Scan Test 01 as name for the scene. And click the Save button. Now, we can check that the current scene has been saved in the Scenes folder. Going inside the browser room, and retrieving the TNZ file, we created right now. Thank you for your attention, and see you on next video tutorial.